Welcome to Football Fancast, ladies and gents, and five things we learned from the weekend. Thing number one, you're not allowed to say Man United are rubbish anymore. It wasn't so long ago that Rooney was terrible, Popper was overrated, Zlatan had a million shots per game to no avail, and Josie Mourinho was a deluded has-been. Now they're unbeaten in 10, Pogba is more influential than a Russian hacker in a US election, and Zlatan has 10 goals in his last 9 games. The rest of the league should be as afraid of United as Jesse Lingard is of celebrating with his 35-year-old Swedish teammate. Thing number 2, some very sad news from the other side of Manchester, Ilkay Gundogan has passed away. The German midfielder tragically died after a knee injury earlier in the week, which is the only explanation for every City player wearing his shirt before their 2-1 win over Arsenal on Sunday. Just imagine if they reacted the same way every time Vincent Kompany got injured. They'd have to wear his shirt 24 hours a day. Of course, Gundogan didn't really die, but something did die at the Etihad on Sunday. Arsenal season. They were finally laid to rest after a week in which they drew by in Munich and lost two league games 2-1 after being 1-0 up. R.I.P. Gunners. Thing number three, a team in blue is pulling off a lot of 1-0 wins to go top of the table. No, you haven't gone back in time one year. Chelsea have made it 11 victories in a row thanks to a Diego Costa effort at Crystal Palace. And as usual, N'Golo Kante was superb in the middle of the park. He shined almost as bright as the reflection of the floodlights on Andros Townsend's head. Thing number four, referee Craig Pawson is about as popular as a can of coke at a Pep Guardiola party after giving Jamie Vardy a red card for a two-footed tackle that almost certainly wasn't a proper two-footed tackle. This comes just a few days after he gave Marcus Rojo a yellow for trying to snap Wilfried Zaha in half. It was a weak red, but hey, at least Jamie Vardy gets to have some extra port and skittle vodka this Christmas time. Wah hey! And finally, thing number five, Real Madrid won the most important game in all of domestic football. You know, the one that saw them play against Japanese J-League winners Kashima Antlers, who are only there by virtue of being the hosts. Yeah, you know, the one that was so important that it wasn't even broadcast in the UK. Hmm. Ronaldo scored a hat-trick in the Club World Cup final. It's been a pretty rubbish year for most of us, but 2016 has been kind to see Ron and his manager Zinedine Zidane. Alrighty, that's it for today. Give us your thoughts at FootballFanCast on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Love to your mothers. I'll catch you next time.